Hey there, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, everyone out there. It's John, back again with another food review. And I know this is usually my in-house setting where I do reviews of products um, that you eat in your house. Um, but this is something I would typically do in the car. This is a Burger King review. So, in this Burger King review, we're going to be reviewing this new sandwich. And this is the Jalapeno Spicy Crispy Chicken Sandwich. You also get this sandwich in a King Burger Sandwich. The toppings are the same for each one. Uh, the difference being one is on, or one has chicken, one has a beef patty. Uh, I thought this would be better because the chicken is spicy as well, um, whereas the burger, it's, it's just a regular burger. The uh, the chicken, they have regular chicken, but also the spicy chicken, and that's what this one is, spicy chicken. So we'll just open this up for you so you can see what's in there. You can see there's jalapenos, there's bacon. It almost looks like all the jalapenos are on one side and the bacon's on the other. But there's bacon, there's jalapenos, there's a pepper jack cheese, I think this is pepper jack cheese. Yeah, it has a bit of a peppery taste to it. Spicy chicken patty. And on the bottom bun, uh, we have more of the sauce, which I think is some type of aioli that's also spicy. Okay, so we have the jalapeno spicy chicken sandwich. And uh, I got the small combo and it was $7.89 after taxes, $8.72. I think the sandwich by itself is about $5. Let's go ahead and taste this. The jalapeno spicy crispy chicken sandwich. the cross section of it the jalapenos are definitely the spiciest part of this but even those they might as well be pickle chips So the spice level is fairly low, and I imagine for the burger it will be lower because the some of the spice is actually coming from spice on this chicken, which you can taste. It's a little bit orange, but it's more like a mild buffalo spice than anything. Does the sandwich taste good? Yeah, it tastes good. Uh, it's not only heat spice, but there's other spices in there that bring out the flavor of the chicken. Um, the jalapenos not only have spice, but they have some flavor to them. It tastes good. The bacon adds some uh, salty, porky goodness to it. And you know, can't beat mayo and cheese on a sandwich. some crispiness to the chicken, some bite to the jalapeno, they're not soggy, good amount of cheese, good amount of bacon, the sandwich is fairly good, and it's at that normal semi-premium price, around $4.55 for the sandwich, so it's priced just like all their other uh, big ticket sandwiches, chicken and, and burgers, I think either if you get a burger or a chicken sandwich, it's the same price. But uh, I would say it tastes good. Um, 
The disappointing part is the lack of real heat to it. Um, even like waiting for it to build, I'm not feeling much of anything. Flavor wise, it's good. Um, I'm going to give the sandwich a 9 out of 10. Uh, I do think it works better on chicken. Um, I've had a lot of their king sandwiches lately. They're good, don't get me wrong. Burger King is really good at burgers. It's like what they're known for. But uh, I think this concept, the jalapeno spice, uh, goes better with the chicken, I think, this time around. Um, I'm just going to stick to that opinion. So there you go, 9 out of 10. Hope you liked the video. Go out and try it. I do recommend uh, anyone who's curious to go out and try this. It's not going to have so much heat that it blows you out of the water, but it has some good flavor to it. And at the end of the day, that's probably more important than the heat. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Tell everyone on the planet Earth about this channel. Um, so that way I can start making money again off of it. Even the small pennies I was making before instead of zero. Um, subscribe to some of my friends' channels. We got the Fat Hipster's brother, who hasn't put out a video in a long time, so this is a call out to him to make a new, a new video to put out. Um, Jeff Miller, he sometimes do, does some podcasting about sports and wrestling and other stuff. But uh, plenty of other YouTubers out there that I watch that I'm not good friends with, but um, The Ramen Raider, he's got a great channel. He's doing new recipes and stuff almost every day like a madman. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah. Thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel first, though. That's the most important part. And uh, 